Can you believe this obscure car from 2002 was banned? So I just want to say thank you all for checking out this video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because I upload Yu-Gi-Oh! content weekly. I also got a lot of great merch in the description below. I got YouTube merch. I got a lot of Sonic, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and just kind of other inspired merch I got on there. So check that out. Also, consider checking out my Patreon because on my highest tier Patreon, you can request a video for the channel each and every month. And that's pretty awesome. So what we're talking about today is you get remote duels extravaganza. Now, for those who don't know what remote duels are, no, it's not like speed duels or rush duels. What the hell is a rush duel? Uh, so remote duel is essentially you're playing um, by a desk, by a camera, and you're, you can, your opponent's playing like that way too. So you can see how they're playing. It's, it's live Yu-Gi-Oh! Just done virtually. It's kind of bizarre, but I kind of dig it. It's, it's a unique way to uh, continue to promote the physical card game during the Crush Card virus. And I haven't tried it myself, but I wouldn't mind trying it with some friends. It could be fun. We'll see. I already uh, kind of play a little bit uh, with a co-worker. I work during our, our uh, downtime, so who knows? We'll see. Uh, but there, Konami uh, just released a bunch of cards, um, and I'll just read this for you. Uh, essentially like a ban list. Uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Remote Duel Extravaganzas, we recommend that duelists do not include the cards with effects that cannot be properly resolved in a remote duel format. The following is a partial list of cards that could not be included for decks for that reason. And then they list a whole thing of that. You can read it yourself. Uh, if you include these types of cards in your deck, be aware that their effects cannot be activated. If you attempt to activate the effects of any cards on this list, it will be deemed an illegal activation and you'll see a penalty for a procedural error. Which is kind of bizarre when you think about it, because they're technically saying that uh, it says you should not include. It doesn't mean you can't include. Then you get penalized for using them. It's weird that they didn't just outright ban saying you can't have these cards in your deck. Feels like they're kind of, you know, like, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, the, the wording is bizarre, essentially. Like, you can add them in your deck, but you're not going to do anything. And you're going to penalize for them, but they are still technically legal. Uh, that's kind of bizarre. Um... Some of the, the big cards we see are cards like Exchange, uh, Yujo Friendship, a Lullaby of Obedience, Parasite, uh, Paran... No, that's not Paranoid. Parasite, Parasite. That's right. Uh, Grey Robber, Ancient Telescope, the 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh card, Spiral Drone, a Chick to Yellow. There's, there's some interesting cards, and uh, instantly you can see and you can understand why... These wouldn't necessarily work. Uh, Yujo Friendship requires a handshake. Though, I mean, technically, you can flip a coin. I think most judges kind of have deemed that, if anyone's too disgusting. Uh, cards like Exchange is that it, it, interacts, it interacts with your opponent's deck and their hand. And that stuff just doesn't work in Remote Duel. There's no actual way to do that. Unless your opponent just happened to have a Parasite and... Or the exact cards they need and just do that themselves, but you you can't have a card based on that. Some interesting ones, other things like like Drone and Ancient Telescope, this card from the 2002 Yugi Kaiba decks of all things. Who would have thought that that'd be up there with Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity. This is a broken card now, right? Yeah, so who would have thought that uh, that'd be banned? Um, so th th those are kind of interesting because technically your opponent can show the top five cards, but I guess you're just being very sure uh try and protect cheating that sort of stuff um there's a lot of interesting ones i mean most of the cards you're not going to use anyway a uh, lullaby obedience used to see a little play uh maybe like a couple years ago but not really much of anything um check the yellow didn't see any play say for like goat format when he was uh actually pretty broken at one point and uh Spiral Drone is probably the biggest card on here, I'd say. That's like the main card people would use if they play Spiral, but currently no one's playing Spiral. Uh, no one's playing Amazonus or uh, Ghost Rick. Actually, this card just came out, if I'm not mistaken. So it's interesting. Um, I guess technically, if you have Yujo Friendship, then the uh, the other one's probably kind of nerfed too, right? Um, Unity, I think. 
that's the one. I want to say Unity. Uh, so yeah, it's it's very bizarre. Uh, I think the fact that we have this super old card amongst you know spirals and dark scorpions and just other odds and ends is just kind of hilarious. I'm just probably making a video about that. Uh, I don't know, just let me know what you think about it. Um, what do you think about this whole card legality thing? Uh, am I the only one that thinks it's kind of worded weird? Uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, other various social medias, which I'll have linked, you know, wherever. So, uh, until I see you all next time, have a wonderful day.